The streets are virtually empty in Hawara, a Palestinian village on the outskirts of Nablus in the occupied West Bank. Illegal Israeli settlements line the ridges of surrounding hills. Construction of more continues. Clashes between Palestinians and Israeli settlers are common here. Several Israelis and Palestinians have been killed in this area in recent months. On October the 4th, the Israeli army forced Palestinian businesses to close and since then the situation has deteriorated further. People are here, but they are just too afraid to leave their homes. Mohammed Dumaidi shows me video of his 19-year-old son Labib on his mobile phone. Mohammed says the university student was describing his ideal wife in the film and making everybody laugh. But Labib was shot dead on October the 5th. The settlers gathered near the gas station. Another group came from another area. They walked along the road. No one talked to them. No one threw stones at them. They were screaming and swearing. Suddenly, they started shooting randomly and smashed a car. They tried to break the door of our house and get in. There were bullets flying everywhere. Labib took a bullet in the chest. This video shows the Israeli settlers in the village minutes before Mohammed says they started shooting. He says Israeli soldiers stood by and watched as the violence began. Without the soldiers' protection, they wouldn't dare to do this. They want us out of this village. Labib had a lot of hopes and dreams. He wanted to be a businessman. He wanted to be a graphic designer, cameraman. But these dreams are now lost. Labib's mum, Najla, takes me to the spot where her son was shot. When I heard the shooting, I felt my heart leap. I started saying, my sons, my sons. His uncles helped him, but the Israeli soldiers started shooting tear gas. They laid him on the street and the Israeli soldiers said no ambulance could come. We just needed an ambulance. It seemed that they waited for him to die before they let the ambulance in. Clashes broke out between Palestinian youths and Israeli soldiers during Labib's funeral, reportedly because the Israeli military tried to stop mourners praying in Hawar's central street. Palestinians living along the Hawara Road have suffered decades of violence by Israeli settlers living on the hills close by. But they say that since those Hamas attacks inside Israel on October the 7th, the situation here has got even worse. Palestinian protests are increasing in frequency and size across the occupied West Bank. But so is settler violence against Palestinians. The United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, or OCHA, has recorded more than 80 attacks by settlers, resulting in Palestinian casualties or property damage in under two weeks. The situation was tense in Palestinian villages like Hawara, long before the war. Labib's family say the young man who had so much ambition will always be remembered for his humour and dreams. Charles Stratford Al Jazeera, Hawara, in the occupied West Bank. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.